there's uh, a lot of stars in the sky you can see really clear and I start seeing a uh, it starts out looking like a star like an exceptionally bright star but it starts to just get closer and brighter as minutes go on this is probably a 30 minute experience so very slow too slow to be an airplane we did have a lot of drones that flew around the area so border patrol would use drones it wasn't it wasn't that so it started getting lower and lower in the atmosphere until it was about i'm gonna say a few hundred yards up in the air and i started looking around everybody and about a few minutes in hey guys see see what's going on here see this thing oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and then eventually everyone's looking at it because it, it just keeps coming everyone's looking at it we're like what the hell is that Welcome back to another Guggen podcast. Today, uh, we're talking about something a little bit different. Actually, we're talking about something very different. I think something everybody can get into. We just need to start it off by this. Just asking the simple question. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah. You do. Flair? <laughs> Don't want to be like the, the odd guy out, but like I... A lot of sightings. I don't there. know, dude. Like I... I don't not, That's but I d don't. I'm, I'm going to say no. I don't, like, I've never seen anything that is, like, I can't explain what okay. just happened. So you're you know taking the scene as believing route, which is fair. I'm just going to say I don't believe it. Yeah. Like, also, but I don't want to be wrong. Hey, but, like, I, can I, I, I ask you guys Jesus, questions? Bro. No. Can I ask you a question? You a question? The answer to that question is no, you can't ask me questions. Do you live under a rock? <laughs> <laughs> live in the middle of nowhere. It's close. Yeah. Yeah. You're a big space guy. Yeah. You're into Tesla. You're into Elon. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely believe in aliens. Yes. Have you seen one? Yes, have you seen? Have you seen one? Have I personally seen one yes. with my own eyes? Yes. No. But I've seen footage. I've seen. Fair point. Have. R wait. Really? What? I'll share. I'll share as wait. Just wait. We what? can't get into that kind of juice. Have you seen one though? Uh, I thought I saw wait. a spacecraft one time. Wait, you UFO. just said you don't believe in aliens, but you thought no, you no, saw a spacecraft. No, 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 he I do. does. I was you just advocating I towards. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm the only one that respect people's beliefs, man. Yeah, chill with that. Jeez. Even though I think he's wrong, I think there are aliens. But have you seen them, you think? I, I swear to God, there was one time I thought I saw a, a UFO. Like, oh a, not gosh. a UFO, like an actual spacecraft. I can't wait to get into this. Wow. Once. Well, speaking of aliens, what do you got in that box there, John? That's a great question, Rackley. Hey, have you guys heard of Catch Smart? We're creating boxes that are designed around each specific rod. So, for example, we've got the Twitch. Muscle. We've got the Muscle. Reaction. Reaction. Finesse. Finesse. Do we have an all-purpose box? And go to. Go, go to. to. Yeah. yeah. Go to. We actually have a go-to box. So the cool thing is if you get a rod, you now have some baits to go with that rod. It's a great way to learn new tactics, get into different types of fishing, techniques, styles. Or you could start just by getting the box and then get the rod. Vice versa. Whichever way you want to do. If you guys want to check out these boxes, they'll be linked down below. Uh, this one in particular is a muscle box. So you have... Everything ranging from flipping jigs, thick jigs, filthy frogs, uh, popping filthy frogs, frogs, uh, juicy jig, some hammer hooks for putting the hammer down, Put the on, hammer some, down on. on some fish. So uh, everything in this box caters to different uh, styles of fishing. So. That, that, so that's a muscle box. This so is a muscle box. Muscle being the, the heaviest rod in the line. That's right. So you're talking beef sticks. Big, mm -hmm. heavy Basically. meat meat sticks. Yes. Which, so that's what that's what would come in. But if you had the finesse, you'd have different lures. Yeah, so especially more towards like towards like finesse. scouts, rattling Ned, things of that nature. Yep. Trying to um, make it easy. Trying yeah. to make fishing easy for everybody. Yeah. So. Make fishing easy again. Make fishing easy again. Yes. I agree. Sure. So yeah. get you some, and let's fish for aliens now. What do you think? Yeah, let's talk about our alien experiences. Uh, you guys ever been abducted? Abducted? Have you been abducted before? Is this where I, your story's I going? I haven't got a full class no. three level experience. So, wait, is that, did you just make that up? It, no, it, I think it, I think that's four actually. Yeah, I would say that's. Wait, pinnacle. this is a real thing. Class yeah, yeah, three and four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's so there's level. ranks to this. Yeah, yeah. That was like a point. I like a point what? five, maybe. Point five. Yeah. I, I've, I've had a, what Bit I think is classified as a level two. So so what's four's highest? Four is four like is you, what they took you to Mars and back. You've made contact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. There's no way this is legit, dude. <laughs> yeah, There's just no is. way. Okay, there, so you've had it too. The internet is full of these things. Okay, it's you can you can dive deep. It's the internet. Okay, keep going. What, Tell what, me what What's happened. your experience? I really want to hear John's, but I, I'll okay. go first. So, it was a a cold night during deer season in in South Texas near the Mexico border, and uh, me and my 
my hunting buddies were sitting around. When, when what? Sorry to cut you. When was this? This was approximately six or seven years ago. So not really that long ago. It's not like when you were a yeah. kid or something. Yeah. Okay. Fairly. No, recent. no, no. I wasn't. I wasn't a kiddo. I was. I was a full grown adult uh, drinking an adult beverage, but not too many. I'm only uh, like uh, you weren't. Uh, no, 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 Keep no, no, that no, no, in no, mind. No, no. Okay. okay. Keep that in mind. I just want to give that little disclaimer. But uh, we were like two Coors Originals deep. This uh, wasn't anything crazy. I mean, I've drank a lot of alcohol. I don't see aliens, so I think that's a test. Debunked. Keep going. So we're sitting around the campfire. It's a, it's a nice, clear, crisp night, and there's a lot of stars in the sky. You can see really clear, and I start seeing a. Uh, it starts out looking like a star, like an exceptionally bright star, but it starts to just get closer and brighter as minutes go on. This is probably a 30-minute experience. So very slow, too slow to be an airplane. We did have a lot of drones that flew around the area. So Border Patrol would use drones. It wasn't it wasn't that. So it started getting lower and lower in the atmosphere until it was about, I'm going to say, a few hundred yards up in the air. And I started looking around at everybody and about a few minutes in. Hey, guys, see, see what's going on here? See this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And then eventually everyone's looking at it because it, it just keeps coming. Everyone's looking at it. We're like, what the was hell is a, that? A noise? No noise or anything? No noise. Silent. It was silent. And that's what was so odd. And we're just star- staring at it. And it's just bright. And it's just standing there. It's kind of an orange. One beam of light. light. It's not a beam. Glowing. It's not a beam. It's just like a, like, I guess you could say like an orb style. Okay. So just a glowing style Staying orb. Staying completely or- stagnant. Sa- yeah. It not- came down and then it just stayed still. Just right. hovering there. And everyone's looking at it. And then all of a sudden, it just no, no like a bullet, it didn't like a bullet. Oh, no. Like if you shot a bullet up There's, in the air, it's so that crazy. fast. And what? It into the in space. Okay. Well, what? well, we're still having the momentum's still fresh. Mm-hmm. That is so crazy that you just explained because I have a s- no. That's a level two. That maybe I've also had a level two. I don't know. I would say so. This was I was actually filming, not the actual experience. Wish that'd be unreal, uh, but this was I think three years ago. I was filming with this guy. You, you, you guys know who he is. You can hit him up. He saw it with his own two eyes as well. His name's Jaron. He used to help me out with some videos, and we were taking a road trip from Illinois to Ohio, and it's dark out, and we're just like driving on the road, like not saying much, just kind of like trying to stay awake. And all of a sudden, similar situation thing. This thing like was kind of off in the distance, and like. I'd kind of look out, you know, with my peripheral and just like airplane. Someone's low mm-hmm. flying an airplane, mm-hmm. and then it would be like I'd go like this and I'd go like this, and then like I remember like on like the third take after a few minutes I look back and it's, it's like there. It's, it's there. It's like right there and it's and it's going. It, it's, how big? What are we looking at? How, like how close is like, this? It's to so you? hard. How, do you, to, how far do you think? That's it was? the problem. It's so hard to have that's perspective at right. night. Yeah. And this shit only happens at night, right? You know. Yeah. Why does it happen only at night? Well, aliens well, are the, smarter. The than, glowing ones. Oh, okay. you know? Yeah, They're obviously way more intelligent. They're not going to give themselves up that easily. Yeah. We're a that. pawn a in the aliens' light. game. Like, do you think they get? Sorry, not like, that. I don't want. I want you to keep going. But like, do they? Do they enjoy this? Is like a cat and Surely. mouse game where they're just like, Surely. we're the pawns. Could be an experiment. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just yeah. like, all right, we're just going to like buzz this one dude who's down there. He'll probably make. A they report, probably get and then drunk. Just like, just yes. Yeah, so like, do, 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 do they just get ripped yeah. and then like yeah, go? They, start they let's go mess with the humans tonight. You guys in? All right, let's go. You know, they could have, like, periscope, side scan on, just looking like, is there any resources down here? No, bored as hell. Smoking that cosmic ganj. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you want to go mess with some humans? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they sneak out of their parents' house, like, let's go go mess with the humans. Yeah. All right, guys, all right? Same concept, you know? Okay. Seriously, I know we're kidding, but, like, who who knows? Maybe that's what they like to do in their their free time. I would. If I was an alien, I'd fuck with humans all the time. (laughs) Anyway, so, like I said, this thing just comes out of nowhere, and it's like, Basically, it's it's kind of like gone over us now, and it's it's going at our, our speed, which is like maybe 55, 60 miles an hour. And instead of like one big orb, it was like like kind of like a row of lights. Okay. You can kind of see like maybe what it might have looked like if it wasn't pitch black and we were out in the middle of cornfields. You know, of course, cornfields, right? So cliche. Mm. But then the lights like would kind of like all glow in unison. You know, like the Mustang has that turret signal where it's like it's like do do do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. similar to that. But not right. as fast. More like do so. Do, multiple do, objects do, or do, one? Do. That's just it. I don't know. Could have been one big thing or multiple objects. So I don't say anything, and I'm like, I look over at Jaron. I'm like, please tell me you see this because 
either someone slipped me LSD while we were looking at the last <laughs> rest stop, <laughs> or or this is something like insane. He's like, no, I also see what you're seeing, and we're just watching this thing, and it lasted probably like maybe 30 seconds, and just like you explained it, gone, literally just gone. Just, it it not, disappeared. What? It just went. You had no like, like no. It literally it no. It literally it would be like if it did disappear. Like it okay. turned its lights off and it's just gone. So you didn't want totally, to take it no, no, out? like the lights went. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I, I got felt it, like it. what I saw, I could see the movement. Like it was so fast, it was like a bullet, but it was like you could see the movement. It oh. got smaller as yeah, it yeah, went yeah, away. It, was like, it didn't it just happened disappear. Just like that, but this, yeah. like it was getting smaller. This, I, this, I think maybe second. went up instead of out. Like maybe yours went more at an angle. I think this just literally went, like you know, because. You think of a plane, like, well, a plane couldn't do that, but, like, who's to say, like, a alien spaceship just can't go, like, it's not it's not on an axis, like, it right. just goes wherever the, where the f*** it wants. So that's, and then he was there, too, so I was so glad he was there, and I'm like, dude, that was insane. But, also, playing devil's advocate here, we were really close to uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Oh, okay. Mm. And that's where a lot of historic yeah. UFO stuff is. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like a, and it's in Ohio, it's random as fuck. Supposedly that's where they shipped the UFO crash of New Mexico. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, what? so they c- could have been humans messing around with alien yeah. tech. Like, yeah, do you, like, you think you think humans? Okay, if you like, if something could gets recovered, engineered. Yeah, do you think humans like just jump in and go for joy? I think too? I like, think so much of our technology nowadays is probably based off of. I mean, this sounds crazy, but like, who knows? So yeah. this no is documented. No this is no. this is well documented in the uh, the cinematic series of Bob Lazar on. Uh, Amazon Prime. Netflix. I've not seen this. <laughs> um, yeah, I would watch that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a is goodie. it good? It's, it's a good. goodie because yeah. really, if, yeah. if he is right, so he was tasked with reverse engineering. Okay, I've heard of this technology. guy. Technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it was back in what, like the 80s, 70s, 80s. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a while ago. And uh, working at Area 51, and so his his job was to re- try to figure out the propulsion system, which. If it is correct, what me and John described, totally it, it makes sense yeah. because what it does is like if you have a bowling ball on a bed and you press down somewhere on the bed and that bowling ball like rolls into you, yep. that's uh, what he described. You're manipulating gravity. Gravity in itself. It's like it's, yeah. it's creating its own gravitational force and it can it basically like pulls you into it. So it just like just sucks you in super fast. Yeah. And it's like messing with the fabric. Why? Why it's hasn't there been like more concrete? Well, I think it's so unbelievable. People, like, well, I think, think I think there's probably so like overwhelming amounts of evidence, but I think the problem is, is it's overwhelming. Like you have to understand, if you were, if let's say it's all true, there's a <clears throat> task force task for, force of people, which probably there is, who have all this information, know all the, shook hands with aliens, know what their spaceships do, and they sat down with you, even if they're credible people, and they're like, all right, here's all the evidence. You probably wouldn't believe it. I don't think I anyone could grasp that. Yeah. So. Here's something to think, it's too. Insane. Like, when this, when that happened, when the Bob thing happened in 1980, like, the internet wasn't a thing. Yeah, true. So you were, yeah, like, true. almost telling somebody something, Short and then, mouth. yeah, and those people are, like, not going to go around just spreading this rumor. Yeah, 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 because they're going to be called crazy, yeah. especially at that point, like, I mean, yeah. again, I'm still skeptical, but, like, there's definitely more information out there now than there would have been even 10 years ago, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Like, now it's getting to where it's, like, even yeah, though I haven't seen phone. anything, well, also, I feel like it's a little bit more believable than it would have been 20 years ago. I think it also makes it hard, too, when you've got people saying, like, and maybe they're maybe they're actually having experiences and I'm just writing them off, but you've got people out there that are, like, I'm like, yeah, I chill with aliens all the time. Like, there's a lot of, I don't want to use the word <laughs> crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of crazies out there, and they, they definitely make it seem... Less uh, yeah. plausible well, than, it, than yeah. it definitely is. The whole is. reason we're we're talking about this because it's been in the news, like the yeah, ton. the CIA and, and no Pentagon have released though, things. Which is yeah, weird. that's the so weird. no one really so do you, not to like get all in like whatever, but like, do you think that's put there for a distraction? That's what I don't oh, know. Man. Like I don't know. whatever they don't want out there. What I don't know what it would be, but like at the, it's so bad. Whatever it is, and I'm not saying I have no clue. It's so bad that there's like. See if they everyone bites on UFO action and like, but no one is. I feel like like, yeah. I go on Twitter and I don't see anything about Maybe UFOs. That's if this happened five years ago, it would have been all over. Like everyone freaked out. But I feel like there's so much other stuff going on in this world. Like people like just low key don't care. Yeah, true. Well, well because it doesn't right? it doesn't uh, initially affect them. Yeah, it's it's more of like a, it's a fun thing to talk about and believe in. Yeah, but it's not a first world Until problem. Like it's not where like you actually have a problem with it or it really affects you. Yeah. I think the most effective way to break information to people that's so crazy is to probably 
like go into the shallow end first yeah mm-hmm. and give some little tidbits and then it's like you know maybe 10 years from now like yeah yeah it's it's whole you know totally confirmed we've been trying to reverse engineer this technology forever here's a couple videos you know year or two in and then five years from now they bring out some stuff and just slowly get you into it instead of just one like yeah, hey, just they'll call you crazy end. if it just comes yeah. out of out of nowhere start from like one foot and then work right 100 feet not straight in the 100 feet of water and then you're just yeah. got all this like it's just you don't even know how to consume all like i don't think anyone's able to, to do that we'll think if if a government actually successfully reverse engineers that ta- technology the military presence you basically own the world at that point yeah and it's then dangerous, yeah. a society transportation elon hey how, how much you know you're basically going to control the market you know how to travel via it, yeah. gravitational i mean i'm pretty sure that systems. elon has more power I'll say this about more people. I won't just say this about Elon. Don't I have a crush What's on Elon him. up to? Yeah. I have a crush on him, but you I You have won't. a bromance with him, even yeah, though he doesn't yeah. know who you are. But yeah, go ahead. But like Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon, I think they have more power than the US government right now. Maybe. I wouldn't argue with that in certain aspects. Yeah. Just how they control so much like work. I think Jeff Bezos is a alien so <laughs> dude mark zuckerberg 100 percent. oh he has to be he though right he has like to be over though. here he might just talk about reverse engineering he might just be like a human lizard hybrid he might just be his own species <laughs> you laugh but there's an internet video talking about no. him being a reptilian no yes, there is, no yeah. there's people there's who actually multiple. believe that so I, I, apparently this, you know i get into this sometimes why is he so weird uh, there's like four oh, or five so different so species okay. of aliens and there's there's one that looks just like you and i wait there's there's a reptilian, huh. there's there's like three or four different ones, and they come from different parts of the globe or the globe, the uh, universe. universe, yeah, the universe, galaxy. Like the like, galaxy. like, do aliens have different planets, or like I, different I think countries? So. I think like, so. I mean, how sophisticated? Did like, I think you know they have their their home base, and then they've got their, their, their also lake cabin. Find, like that probably important. Imagine if some aliens are just like, just, I mean, it's so like. It hurts oh the thing. Okay, this here's you can go so, so deep. So, so what this kind of deep. what we believe is that there's we have our universe, and then outside of that there's other planets. Okay, but these people can travel so much quicker than we can travel because yeah. we haven't figured out kind of propulsion or yeah. like travel aspects of our universe. So these people can just fly by us and check on us, but they don't always, you know, stop and say. Like well, I guess like why if I was an alien, not that if I was, but like. Why don't one of these dudes just come land their spacecraft, walk out, and be like, they, what's up, they, everybody? They probably know like we, we can't well, handle it. It's just it. Like, uh, they're probably way more... Like, we're talking about something that could literally be... I think there's such a cliche, like, aliens, like, three foot tall, like, three fingers, big <laughs> bobbly head. Like, an alien could literally just be, like... It could look like Energy. Fire. It could just be, like... I mean, not energy, It could but, be interdimensional. Yeah, it, it could be something that is so hard to even... Wrap your head around, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You know, I keep saying it, but, like... Yeah. And, then, and then with that, they may not care about doing that because they have some sort of greater respect for other... I mean, I don't you know. Okay, here's my question. Would, I, I agree with you. You know? Like, they would evolve Otherwise, they would do that, I think. The, yeah. They, they would yeah. evolve past, like, you know, wars and, like, stupid... They, they yeah, exactly. know yes. how, how to, you know... So here's my question. Out of, let's say, everyone in America, like, what percent do you think people actually truly believe in this? Uh, do you think it's more than like half the man, whole, I think it's got to be half. I, probably 30 years ago, it was probably, like, 20%. Yeah, yeah, right? So it's getting more and more. I guess, like, the only reason I'm asking is, like, do you think that's why they're not releasing stuff? Or do you think, like, like if everyone believed in it, I feel like they would just divulge everything. But, like, they just have so much skepticism that they don't want to divide. Like, I don't know. It seems like they're holding it back. And then what were you saying? Like, they're now they have 180 days, right, to do something? Well, the CIA, I, the CIA, I guess, was tasked with releasing some of this. Hmm. So they're, in, like, the next 180 days, they're just dropping little leaks uh, so well, there's two videos that have been on the internet that are confirmed okay. by the Navy and the you know the government that are that are real the legit videos and I mean they are I don't know how you else you describe it as a it's definitely UFO but yeah you know, what exactly is it so if they got more of those puppies I'd love to see them the you email me also too <laughs> this, this say what you want about this guy he's not my favorite person obviously he's very controversial but like if you guys haven't seen or if you have seen you need to watch the Alex Jones both the podcast he does with uh, Joe Rogan. Even if what he says is complete bull, it is just so interesting. And it also makes you wonder, how does someone even come up with something like that? Like, the way he describes it, 
is that so we're going back to like aliens may not be like an actual physical thing they could be interdimensional he describes aliens at least this specific genre of aliens communicating through uh i don't know how you would dumb it down put in layman's term but basically just through your mind yeah like uh, taking uh, taking ayahuasca taking dmt and that's how you communicate with aliens and the government gives people dmt they give scientists dmt so that they could then communicate with these aliens and learn how to engineer, you know, future technology and like that. It sounds like something that someone would say in a <laughs> mental institute. I can't even believe but, we're here but, right now, what? but I love it. So, have I, you seen I, this? I, yes, no, and I yeah. agree. Like, okay, they say you use a certain percentage of your brain. Mm -hmm. Like, if you take ayahuasca or DMT or some of these things that unlock these certain areas of your brain neurologically. Yeah. And you're able to tap into that dimension. Yeah. So this is a, for, for clarification. Yeah. These are like like tripping like drugs you trip on. Is that what this I, DMT? Like to the stuff? tenth yeah. degree. Yeah, DMT. Yeah. Like I never taken it, obviously, but I think it would probably. I don't know. I mean, it's it's. What's someone here? You know, next time we fish in the Amazon. It, have anyone taken it here? No. Let's <laughs> all lick some frogs. And DMT. <laughs> so like when people like trip on like drugs or whatever, like. So you're basically saying like you're not even conscious, you're not even coherent. You're in some. But like other that, it, what they're what they're imagining and, and like seeing is like a, a something like into the next entities. It's, it's something so genuine. Yeah. yeah. Most genuine, people. Yeah. Yes. Most, most people. people it's, actual, like, it's not a trip. It's like you're actually unlocking. God, something. but you just assume it's a trip because and, like that's just what they say. That same sort Got of. It. The, everyone has that same sort of experience. Experience. Yeah, as you say, there's consistency. There's, there's there. some sort of entity. Yeah. And it's, it's, um, that to me is so weird. Don't talk to about that. Communicate to you and and reinforce things with you, and that is strange that, that everyone is, so is experiencing that sort of thing. Even aside from aliens, that's just weird. Yeah, I know. In general. But apparently, if you take DMT, you can. The thing about DMT though stuff. is like, how would you ever know it's actually DMT? Unless you're a scientist and you can measure yeah. it. Or do you skip um, that you gonna so play something? I, I, no? I would like to know from the audience. Like, have has I'm sure everyone has seen this Tic Tac video that's gone around. If you what's haven't, the, what's the you tic -tac? Need what's to. the Tic Tac video? So Tic Tac video is tic -tac from or Tic Tac. Tic Tac. It's from the Commander Fravor, um, the um, the commander that captured it, or one of his pilots captured it on a, on their uh, infrared camera. No, I don't think I've seen this. So they the, the, the radar yeah, locks in on is on the UFO. Is this it? And they can uh, track it. This guy right here. Yeah. Pentagon releases three. This was released during COVID. Is this, this Tic Tac? This is a Tic Tac. So they. So that's in, that's in the air. This that's is not a, on the yeah. ground, right? So this is really grainy because it's an infrared. Like if you're looking. Of course, the it's grainy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Figure it out? That's what I'm I saying. Know. I feel like there's always excuses here, right? Uh, so this is. IR. That looks like a potato. That, that, I literally could film that in black and white with my camera. That's, this like, is why nobody look believes at in aliens. This UFO. Though. This is why nobody believes in aliens. Like, uh, you're, you're telling me I couldn't put those cloud effects in there? Uh, Get out of here. You could, but this has been confirmed by multiple you're Those clouds look Navy so si like. Yeah, but he's playing. He's saying what 90% of people would say, though. Yeah. I mean, they, like. I agree with you. you Skepticism. The this clouds, should be HD, the, 4K. The clouds look too too fake. It's just, cr it's just cruising right above. Like, of course it's cruising above the clouds. They have to put that in there for perspective like it's moving right if there wasn't so here, oh, here's the okay that guy was ripping. so he's trying to lock onto it it's this is flying like 600 miles an hour or something really? something crazy and then he locks onto it that's not tic-tac though it, we or don't have it? audio but he's, that he's like he's like yelling he's over? like is it over the ocean? It, i locked in it's flying over the ocean yes ocean, yeah. so apparently this thing came out of the ocean really and it's oh, just wow. flying it's just flying above so this is from the u.s department of defense right here um Clear up any misconceptions to the public. So I'm sure there's a lot of BS yeah. out there. Yeah, so there's got to be right. They're they've only released a couple of nuggets. Also, that are confirmed they, by they them. Probably like it's like big deal. Oh my God, UFO or um, UFO sightings released by the Pentagon. They probably released some of like their clips. Yeah, you know that's what I'm like thinking. just to keep that's people not convinced. Right? Yeah, like or, to keep people like yeah. me that are just like oh, yeah, I'm well, just gonna, like it's I'm just fifty. Gonna... You could be split down the middle. You could be like okay, that's bullshit, or you could be like uh, that's that could. You be think real. this guy knows who he's talking about? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I, I think the reason, there's a lot of reasons they could probably release footage like that, but maybe to just kind of heat up the, the pot. Again, of, there's got to be a like strategy. Something right? might come in the yeah. future where it, it could be a... Uh, See, that looks fake. Like, there's no way that's legit, That looks right? so fake. You know, this is back in the day, so I don't I don't know. Here's the thing, Someone though. Someone could like, have played up in the air. Like, 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 when you think about, like, cartoons, right, or, like, even movies with, like, aliens, like, they had to have gotten that concept from somewhere. Like... 
the, the, a saucer, right? Like, they, yeah. no one just, like, not one, some dude one day wasn't like, this is what an alien spaceship looks like, and, like, from now on, everybody's going to agree that that's what it looks like. It had to have come from somewhere, though. Yeah. Well, like, if you look at a lot of them, it, it's and, only, it's and really what makes sense. Bob Lazar described, that is the, the shape. But yeah. they don't fly the way you think they would. So yeah, I think they, people think it's got like a like a plane has its on its own course and it has it's not know, using jets and aerodynamics at all. It doesn't it's have any. It doesn't gravity. have any what's the word like parameters. Like there's no rules or anything like that because it manipulates everything around it. Yeah, it's like stretching. Wow, so what do you this guys my think? Brain? Wait, I mean, I have a like for Iraq real quick. Yeah. So why has there been such a gap in like s- traveling to space in the past thirty to forty years? Because didn't we, la- 1969, yeah. we land on the moon, but yet, like, we can't figure it out again, or what? Yeah. That's a very interesting question. There is a gap. You're right. Like, no one cared? Did no- Why what is it all of a sudden now? Why is it all of a sudden now becoming popular to want to go to the, the moon again? Or yeah, Mars. Space Force. Mars. Right. Like, yeah. Space Force is a thing now. Yeah, what, is that legit? Not oh, to change real. topics, but there's space literally a branch of the military to defend, our like, our country and, like, our I mean, entire planet off of space aliens? Space from, from off-world... Well, uh, Entities. Uh, it could be something to do with other countries might have satellites and things in space that could be used for warfare. Oh, okay. So it's not necessarily like so it off, could the, be, off uh, the globe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you could also make that argument too. It's for, I mean, again, it's just like whatever position you want to take. It's so it's so like it's so hard just to completely lock in whether or not you believe in it. And or, also, or, you go back to like the moon footage. Have you watched the moon footage? Yeah. Do you think that's real? Yeah. The moon footage is just so bad. <laughs> It's just so it bad. It was filmed like yeah, but it's in the sixty 60s. years ago. Yeah, but there's, he's saying like the with the way people were bouncing, look like they were on, they look like yeah. they were on. Um, like there's just so wires much wires and. You know what mm. I could be? I could believe is that maybe that may, okay. So they went there, but maybe the they footage isn't real because they needed I, that's what something I think. to show to that's what the, I think. the amount of radiation that's up there because you're so you're much closer to the sun. Again, this is what I heard. The amount of radiation. There's no way any sort of actual film. Would it been able to even withstand that? Like when you go to TSA and you've got a roll of film and it goes to that X-ray, it's the film's. So the concept is like there's no way because back then everything's filmed on actual physical film. So the speculation is there's no way that they could have gotten footage up there and then kept the film intact. Just a theory. I, I so think, the, like yeah. the audio is so, probably legit, right? Like when Neil probably. was up there, like yeah. one step for man is whatever. Yeah. But then they just like were like, all right, let's throw green screens up and like think let's about it. If this. you're trying to look like, if your all your footage sucked, like you went fishing, and your footage turned out to be, but you caught, know, but it, you caught the, the state record, still or something. something like, like that. Something you try cool. to do something you to, to show everyone, out. like yeah, I made it happen. But so I think you think the footage is fake. You can't like the U.S. people or the U.S. government telling its people. Because they wanted to seem strong back then. Oh, that's that's that the is, whole. That's well, what, that's that's what countries thing. do. It was, yeah. Cold war, yeah. it was a cold war yeah. too, right? So they were trying. We were trying to uh, Russia yeah. and yeah. all the yeah. other countries. Yeah. <laughs> we're all <laughs> trying to put out our best us. image. <laughs> People believe the, us. So since then, no one's been on the moon. I, I don't. Since 1969, I, don't, I think there was a couple more missions, but. But like, how has no one else been on the well, moon the for is, the last not, fifty years? Not a whole lot on the moon. How is there not just a YouTube video of some guy just like going to the moon right now? But like, Elon needs to like. That's what. I know he's like kind of trying yeah, with he's his Mars, but like, go yeah. Mars. but like, I don't know if I was Elon or something. Like, I'd be like, let me, let me see if it's legit, right? Like, I wouldn't go up there. I'd send somebody up there, right? So like, is it legit? Well, can you I, go get on the moon and, and well, bounce around? Is there the are people. Bunny? There, I mean, there are. I think the timing thing is the big question. There are people up there right now. Like, there's people on the moon. In, or, I know they're in space. Just, just in, in space, the, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, I think if, if that's if that's proven, then it's at one point in time whether it was that specific, you know. Neil Armstrong instance, like, people went up to the moon. I don't know if it was me just right then or if they f***ed up the footage or whatever. I think they went, but like Peric said, they had to have something, like, They had to come home with something good. Yeah. They show. came back, and the guy was like, oh, I formatted the SD card. And they were like, <laughs> oh, dude, I think I left all that footage on the moon. So they're like, <laughs> Daniel got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's probably what happened. Like, could you imagine? I think we think it's super sophisticated. The guy who was probably in charge of the footage probably just came back down and was like, Oh yeah, I forgot to press record. Like, <laughs> I'm so f- sorry. Like, I'm an astronaut, not a cinematographer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should so I have they, a real they camera? They guy. got Paramount Pictures to come in with a bunch of fake moon, f- and they're just like, okay, let's do it all over again. Start from the f- top. It's plausible. <laughs> you know, they might have just found giant robots up there. I saw that in a uh, really? documentary once. It's called that Trans- they found, they found robots. Yeah. Because there's been a Mars Optimus rover, Prime. right? Like we've we've put a we've put a little go kart thing up on Mars and it ripped around. But is that true? Yes. That's yeah, that, true. We had a robot. No, I know, I know. Right? 
Yeah, but was there a moon so. rover? There's got to be a moon there's rover. There's a moon rover. Right? Yeah, moon I rover. So just large rover. So we've landed things on it, mm-hmm. but just you're in like again. You were saying like countries try to be powerful. Like yeah, not that I would. I want to do anything. But like, but he just walked over and just like stabbed a flag in the moon. Like we owned it. Like you know what I mean? It's kind of a flag. Oh, it's, so huge, like, it's a huge like. But like, also back then, yeah, 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 yeah. So look I get why us. they have to have. And, and our thought process now Makes versus America 1969 is a lot different. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For just sure. like where the world was then yeah. versus now, it's just like we need to go to the moon. I'm down. Some, we got to figure it out. Someone's got to get up can, on you there. You can book a that hovercraft. Might if we. That's what I was, like, I was thinking too. Yeah, yeah. Get, call call your buddy Elon. Mm-hmm. See, tell him we have a we hovercraft just, and we're willing to make a deal. We need to reverse engineer some alien tech, okay, and then apply it to one of these boats that we've got. One of the fifty thousand boats we have in, in the mm-hmm. in the warehouse. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I think with a little bit of ingenuity, some of your van uh, knowledge. So he he has the solar powered figured <laughs> out. I think. I'm I'm not saying, but I think it's. You know, Guggen's go to the moon. It's like 2021, here. we go to the moon. Okay. I'm in. Okay, guys. Moon bass. What's that Let's going? just say we went to the moon and then film it with green screen. Good idea. And Instagram then, it. Instagram This it. is exactly we- the conversation the president was having with all of his delegates. Yes. He's like, can we just say that we went? <laughs> Let's just pretend <laughs> like we're cheaper. They're like, yeah, that would save expensive. us a lot of money. Pull They're the like, green like screen good now. idea. Yeah. Well, folks, that's where we're going to end today's podcast talking about aliens. Then we went to, is the moon landing legit or not? Which is probably not a great topic. But what, what, what do you guys say? Are more. aliens legit? Was the moon landing legit? What other controversial thing we talk about, is, if it's legit or not? I don't, I mean, this podcast did not I convince me. I think we can go me, deeper. Okay, but think, honestly, yeah. you're, too personal, you're too personal stories. I got a lot more knowledge. I think it's weird because I never heard his story, and then it was so similar to mine. Yeah, that's what made me think that was maybe. Weird. I think on, that's weird. Maybe. Belief. Me. <laughs> you're trying to convert me. Okay. Number two, you guys want to see it? Let us know. Let us know what you guys want to see in future podcast videos. Get deeper into the UFO, the alien moon landing. But before anything else, this is out. Ready to rock and roll. Link down in the description down it's below. It's out of this world. It's out of this world oh. box. Okay? If you have any Guggen Squad Rods and you need to pair it up, it's a great pair. Or you buy this and then you get a Guggen Squad Rod. Whatever you want to do, let us know, again, what podcast you want to see in the future. Take us home. Peace, love, space, USA. Adios.